In today's video, you'll learn a free method for using Gmail with a custom domain. So this is great if you wanna set up a business email address for free and use the Gmail system with your own custom domain. Now, you may have actually tried Cloudflare email, but you may have noticed that Cloudflare email now doesn't seem to work with uh, Gmail at the moment. So I'm gonna show you a workaround to get around that as well. So rather than using Cloudflare's email forwarding, which was a nice free service when it was working with Gmail, but doesn't seem to work anymore, but we can use something different. There's a different free email forwarder called Improv MX. We can use that to receive our custom domain emails. And then we can also send email from Gmail with the custom domain using services like Brevo or Mailjet. Now Brevo used to be called Send in Blue. If you're familiar with the channel, Send in Blue gives you a very generous 300 emails per day for free on a custom domain. Brevo is the same thing now. So just a name change, but um, this is a really nice free service in terms of giving you a lot of free emails per day with a custom domain. I'll pop a link in the description for Brevo. I've been using that for years and I'm still on the free plan myself actually, and it's been great. So check that one out. So I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. So I'm gonna set up forwarding with Improv MX. We can actually remove the Cloudflare email first if needed. Um, that lets us receive our custom domain emails to Gmail. And then we set up sending in Gmail using Brevo that used to be called send in blue and it gives us free email using a custom domain. So this is one method of working around it. The other method, if you don't actually care about using Gmail, if you'd rather use something else, you can use Yahoo rather than Gmail because Yahoo still seems to be working just fine with Cloudflare's email if you wanna use Cloudflare's email forwarding. And the other um, really quite simple solution is Zoho Mail. I've done a previous video, I'll put that up in the corner. Zoho Mail is a complete solution for custom domain email for free as well, but it does lock you into using only um, the Zoho app on the free tier, but that's the only downside. But this is actually quite easy as well. So I'd recommend checking that one out as well, that previous video, but um, I'll walk you through this method today and I may make a Yahoo method as well. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments if you'd like to make a, um, see a Yahoo tutorial video with um, Cloudflare email. But anyway, let's get on with uh, this method. Okay, first thing I'll do, I've got idea spot space over in my Cloudflare account for this demonstration. Let's head into that domain. And if you've already got email set up on here, I'm gonna turn that off. So let's go to email here and let's go over to settings here and we can click start disabling there. That will um, delete and disable our MX records and go ahead and do that one. So that'll clean up all our Cloudflare email records in here. If we go back to DNS, I've just got an empty DNS for this demonstration. And then rather than using Cloudflare's email forwarding, we're gonna use a free one called uh, Improv MX. And we're gonna put our details in here, our domain name and our email address. So in my case, all right, in my case, I've got Ideaspot space. I'm gonna forward that through to Ideaspot class at googlemail.com. Now I'm using googlemail.com here uh, because I've actually already have an account with gmail.com and I wanted to show you the fresh setup process, but go ahead and use gmail.com if you prefer here. And go ahead and click create. And that'll bring you here. You'll get an email to validate your account. Just check your Gmail account here and go ahead in there, click the link and we should be good to go, we, uh, accept the terms. You don't have to hear about the new features, but go ahead and click validate there. That looks all good. And here it's gonna say email forwarding needs setup. So go ahead and click that one here. It's gonna set up our DNS settings. So we're gonna add these to our DNS records in Cloudflare. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's start with the first MX record there. We can click copy there and head back to our DNS records in Cloudflare. We're gonna add a record here. We're gonna do a MX record here. There we go. And we're going to use app for root and put in the mail server there. Doesn't need a dot on the end there, just .com is fine. And the priority there is gonna be 10. Go ahead and click save. That looks all good. And our next one is gonna be MX2 with a priority of 20. And again, we go back here, we add a record and it's gonna be that MX record again. App for root, the mail server goes in there. Um, mx2 improvmx.com, priority is gonna be 20 there. And click save, looks all good. And then we have our SPF record down here. So click that to copy it back to Cloudflare. We're gonna add a record. This one is gonna be a text record. So scroll down here to get your text, txt, there it is. And it's gonna be app for root, record goes in there. Click save, looks all good. And then we can go back and we should be all sweet. Now we can actually verify it. So we click check again now. 
And this should come up green. There we go. Email forwarding is now active. All right, I'll just do a quick test message from my other Gmail account. I'll send one over to Alex at Ideaspot Space to test it. Just a quick test message and click send. And sure enough, in a few seconds in our primary inbox, I've got my message here from Ideaspot, our new tutorial. Here we go. So this looks like it's landed okay in my inbox. Let's go ahead and check the original headers on here. We've got SPF, DKM and DMARC passing there. So that looks all really nice. All right, so that covers how to receive email to your custom domain. Now, if you actually want to send mail from your custom domain using Gmail for free, I'll show you how to do that as well. So there's a couple options for sending email for free. Brevo actually lets you do 300 emails a day on their free plan. So I'll put a link in the description for Brevo. And the other option is Mailjet as well. So Mailjet will let you do 200 per day. So I'll put links for those in the description, but I'm gonna use Brevo, that's my preference. And a few of you might've actually noticed Send in Blue has actually rebranded as Brevo. Send in Blue has offered a whole range of other services as well. So I think besides sending mail, they do lots of other um, customer relationship management services. So they rebranded as Brevo, but um, you may be familiar with Send in Blue. Very good service, especially the free tier, very generous. So uh, again, go ahead and um, go ahead and get Brevo. Once you've gone through the Brevo signup process, I'm signed into my account here under the menu, we wanna be under senders and IP. We're gonna add our domain into our account here. So go ahead, add your domain. In my case, idea spot space, save that on. And there's just a couple DNS records we need to add to our account on Cloudflare. So um, host name, idea space, text, and the value is gonna be that one there. So let's go ahead and copy this one. And back on Cloudflare, we are gonna add another record. That was a text. So scrolling down here, we've got text at for root. There's our record. And the next one was our DKIM. So this is um, mail underscore domain key. And that is a text record as well. So that is that one, mail dot underscore domain key. And all this DKIM code goes in here. Save that in. So that should look okay. And now we should be ready to actually verify and authenticate. There we go. So that is authenticated. And that means we can send uh, emails from this domain authenticated. So um, to do that, we actually go to our menu up here again, and we head to uh, uh, SMTP and API there. And we are gonna set up SMTP in Gmail to send through our custom domain. So let's do that. One important note before we proceed, you'll need to have two-factor authentication on your Gmail account for this to work. So myaccount.google.com, just type two dash step in there, set up two-step verification. If you haven't already, if you have, that's fine. Let's go ahead. And to add our custom sending address into Gmail, we go to our gear icon there in the settings, see all the settings there. And we're gonna go to accounts and import there. And we need to add another email address. So let's go ahead and do this. So mine's gonna be Alex at Ideaspot Space here. and untick treat as alias, go to the next step there. And we're gonna put our um, SMTP from Brevo in here. So back in Brevo under SMTP and API here, we're going to generate a new key here. So I'm gonna call it Gmail for this demo here, click generate and it'll give us a new key. We can click copy there and be careful. We only get one chance to copy this one and uh, we click okay. And we're gonna go back to that Gmail set up there, the actual password that is the key that we just generated there. And the username is gonna be our Brevo account username. So that one's there. And the SMTP server is gonna be this one here, SMTP sendinblue.com. There we go. 587 is right, uh, secured using TLS. So just make sure that all matches up properly. Um, for some reason I've got Alex sitting in front of my email address there. So that username, is that one there. So that looks all good. We're gonna go ahead and add the account. And then we're gonna get a confirmation email. So we're gonna to have to verify that. So it's gonna send an email to Alex at Ideaspot Space and check the inbox there. There, Gmail confirmation, send mail. And there is our confirmation link and our confirmation code. We can just click the link. It's quicker here, click confirm and success. We can now send emails at Alex at Ideaspot Space. So let's go back to Gmail here. And we should be able to compose an email from, rather than sending it 
from IdeaSpot class, you'll see a drop down there, IdeaSpot space. So that looks all good. All right, let's just run a quick check here. I'm going to send one from Alex at IdeaSpot space to my other Gmail account here. A uh, quick test message there. Let's send that over. And then pretty much instantly over in my other email box, I've received the message here. Uh, it looks all good. Zero minutes ago. Let's check the original headers here and just see we've got passing for SPF and DKIM. So that looks all good. And one final little tweak, we can actually make our custom domain, our default email in Gmail here by going to our gear again, seal settings, and back to our accounts and import. We can actually, uh, rather than using gmail.com as the default, we can make our idea spot space our default there. And then when we go to compose emails, it'll actually default to our idea spot space email. So that looks all good. And as I wrap this up, I'd recommend watching this email tips uh, video here, how to avoid the Gmail promotions tab, especially with newly registered domains. It can be difficult to avoid Gmail's promotions tab, Gmail spam filters, Microsoft Outlook's junk folder, those kind of things. If you watch this email tips video, you'll learn a lot about how to improve your deliverability. But thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time.